Hello and welcome to the roundup of this week's edition of the Engineering News and Mining Weekly magazine, published on Friday, 8 July 2022. In this week's cover article, Engineering News and Mining Weekly Senior Deputy Editor Skulk Berger writes that six land-based borders have been prioritized for a one-stop border management rollout. South Africa is creating a Border Management Authority, or BMA, that will unify the border control functions and processes from various national departments. Six land-based ports of entry have been identified to be the first forerunners of one-stop border posts, which will see the BMA deploy personnel, information technology systems, and intelligence and information sharing systems to improve the efficiency of immigration and the movement of goods. The engineering news features focus on steel, where the South African Institute of Steel Construction sees a positive outlook despite new challenges. Water engineering, infrastructure and reservoirs, where the Blue Drop Regulation Programme aims to improve the water value chain. And testing, inspection and certification services, where petrol refinery closures directly affect a testing company. The Mining Weekly features focus on mining in South America, where a Canadian miner continues to deliver exploration success in Chile and Argentina. This week's business leader is Keith Michael, CEO of Leboni Lipo Printers. And as this week's cartoon shows, now is the time to act firmly against the predatory elite who took this country to the brink and have left a trail of destruction in their wake. And while the prosecution authorities need to act with vigor, President Cyril Ramaphosa should also accelerate his official response against corruption. We hope you enjoy this week's edition of Crema Media's Engineering News and Mining Weekly, the magazine that offers you news about developments in the real economy. Happy reading and see you next time.